Today we are going to be tasting the Green Fairy Absinthe. Hello, I'm Jo and this is Nexamo and we are Tipples and Treats. Now, this is green. It is. It's called Green Fairy. Green Fairy. Mm. And, it, and it is a Czech absinthe. It looks very interesting, doesn't it? It does indeed. Yes. So. We thought we'd try something a little different. Very different. We've had this for um, a couple of years, and as you can see, we, we've only sort of um, halfway <laughs> through it, so it's, uh, I think it's a, a bit of an acquired taste. But I think you've been known to um, handle a small glass to unsuspecting guests. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have. And um, absinthe, Joe, is um, really um, poorly, poorly understood in, in terms of um, spirits. Mm -hmm. um, it's been banned for, for about a century in, in many countries, and um, there, there was a belief that um, um, uh, absinthe caused um, hallucinations, and um, even around sort of the 19... Uh, 1900s, uh, early 1900s, was blamed on um, a number of murders in, in France and uh, in Europe. And it was also rumoured to um, have caused Van Gogh to carry, cut his ear off. Wow. But, um, so hence the, uh, the, the banning it, in many countries. But it's not banned now? No, it's not banned now. Um, Glad to hear. So, it's, uh, I can see on the back here, the, it's 60% alcohol. Which is strong, 120 proof. That's going to knock our socks off, isn't it? It may mm. well do that. Uh, well, mm -hmm. now the uh, the reason for the um, you know the belief that uh, ath absinthe, which is hard to pronounce, uh, caused uh, hallucinations and, and madness, was that um, it it contains um, wormwood, which is a um, a type of tree. And Theron was, was um, um, the, the main additive, the main sort of hallucinogenic additive in, in the absinthe. But um, there's so little of the Theron um, additive that... It's easy um, for you to say. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's not easy at all. <laughs> so little in, in, in the substance mm -hmm. that um, I, if, if it was anything, I'd say that the, the really high alcohol content um, mm -hmm. would have s sent... Um, a few people sort of crazy <laughs> rather than any diluted supposedly hallucinogenic uh, substances. Mm -hmm. All right. So shall we give it a go? Yes, I think um, a tiny, a, a tiny, a tiny bit. I think so. We're going to try it neat. We're going to try it neat first. Yes. Um, we'll try it neat first, just a little bit because we don't. Uh, that's enough. Oh, that's a lot. Don't want to overdo this, do we? <laughs> it's um, it's a crazy colour, isn't it? it? Looks like um, washing detergent, <laughs> doesn't it? Medicine. Medicine. <laughs> oh goodness! It's quite a uh, quite a, an aroma. <laughs> Oh, what it smells of. No, it's it's not like anything I've really... It's unique, isn't it? Maybe methylated spirits. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with methyl to make it like undrinkable. It's It sort of tastes a bit like that. It tastes, it sort of smells maybe a little bit of like Windex. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the colour of Windex. You wouldn't want to mistake this for Windex, would you? No. I can't or remember what it that. tastes like. I know I've had it before, but I'm hoping it tastes a bit better than the very it's, it's quite, descriptions uh, you've thrown out. It is, it is quite uh, powerful, isn't it? It's quite... Mm. Um, okay, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to taste. Now, the tr traditional way to drink this uh, it isn't neat. It's with um, uh, a special absence. Spoon. As absent. Uh, yeah, what she said. 
spoon um, and so you you pour the, the liquor over the absinthe spoon with, with a, a, sh- a cube of sugar mm-hmm. and then you light the, the, the drink. So light that's, it? Light it, yeah. That's the, We're so not going to do that, are we? No, 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 we don't want to burn the house down. So, But uh, we'll try it neat firstly. Neat. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure. Well, I, I do know why. I think this really <laughs> took off um, in the early 19th century because there was um, um, a, a real, uh, some sort of disease um, affecting all the, the vineyards in France. And um, th- this was um, invented and it was a, a good substitute for, for wine and, and, and cognac and other things. <laughs> What you were going to say for killing the disease. I'm <laughs> <laughs> joking. This could like um, kill anything, I think. Wow. And, you know, such the high uh, alcohol content, uh, you can see why, you know, you can get bang for your, for your dollar. It, it, it burns. It, it burns at the front of your tongue, yeah. uh, the, the side of your palate, um, the, the roof of your mouth. It's, uh, it's, <sighs> it's not unpleasant. I can't even tell you what it tastes of. It's not unpleasant, but it's... it's, it's mm. Let, let's try the other version. Come the on. other version? Mm. Well, the other version involves... Um, this is a sugar syrup that I prepared earlier. Specially prepared. Yes. Um, so we've got some that, sugar syrup. That's a syrup. lot of sugar syrup. Um, so we might try with a couple of uh, cubes of ice. It's going to dilute it. I mean, I, it will. I didn't have much to start with and I've got very little left. Not that I want more. Well, we definitely need it diluted because I don't think you'd uh, last very long. My mouth's still burning. Having this... Um, Having this neat, it's it's certainly not a, a fine Ooh. brandy. It's oh, two it's, two um, two bits of ice. Oh, the more the better. So we'll put this away, and what I'll do is I'll put um, uh, some of this um, sugar syrup in. Mm. So thanks, Joe. Um, more? One more. Mm, yeah. Three. So that that'll hopefully cut down the alcohol a bit and the taste, and hopefully change it somewhat. Will it make it drinkable? This is the question. This is a very big question. It's still, uh, still there on the nose. Certainly sweetened it. It's taken away the burning. It has. I mean, the burning's still there. It's not, not as not intense. Nowhere near as intense as it Hmm. It's quite pleasant in a weird sort of way. Um, the I the burning's gone. It's still... for me to call this pleasant would be a bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's sort of a is it sort of a menthol sort of taste? It's mm. I don't know. It's, it's really it's, hard to taste. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not yeah. like anything that that I've had. It's uh, before or, or that I can compare it to. Yeah. Perhaps perhaps there's um, the Ritzena, which is a Greek uh, white wine, which is um, has pine, uh, mm. pine needles or pine mm-hmm. nuts in it. Sort of sort of a resiny, sort of <laughs> woody, mm. methylated spirit sort of uh, <laughs> taste. <laughs> But it's certainly unique, and, and the reason I got this is one for, I guess, the, the name. 
uh, and the, I guess, the allure um, in, in terms of... Curiosity value. In, indeed. Now, in terms of uh, the bans being lifted, I think it was only lifted around like 2000 or... Uh, in the uh, sort of the mid 2000s, so really? you've only been able to buy this in Australia for the last sort of uh, oh, 10, 10 to 15 years, and um, you know it was banned in in the US and France and uh, many 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 countries. Mm. So uh, th this is Czech made, and uh, apparently this is supposed to be the the best sort of version of uh, absinthe that uh, that one one can get. No, the, the Czech are pretty good at making some interesting alcohol. Unusual. We uh, we we uh, tasted the Unicum from that was, uh, from that's, Hungary. That's not Czech. No, but that was uh, close. Close. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> so close is not the same. Indeed. Yeah, it's 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 with the sugar syrup and mm. and some ice. It's mm. it's almost enjoyable. <laughs> Um, so this is a 500ml bottle, 60% alcohol that I've mentioned before, um, and um, it's about $65 Australian to buy, so it's, um, it's not the most expensive mm. spirit you can get, but so it is, uh, is reasonably expensive. I would suggest expensive. if you want to expand your alcohol selection, and maybe if you entertain a little, you could... Uh, Add this in for some novelty value? I think so, and I think it'd be interesting if you wanted to go the whole hog and get an absinthe um, spoon and, and some, some ice cubes, like, you know, the square, uh, not mm. ice cubes, the uh, sugar, sugar cubes, cubes yeah. uh, and pour the absinthe over that and, mm. and, and sort of light it. Mm. Now, I don't know why anyone lights alcohol because, like, you're basically burning Burn it off. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but Maybe it certainly makes it a little nicer. Oh, it certainly uh, make it sort of a, a show, mm. um, sh show like. Yeah. Anyway. Um, and there's a number of uh, there's a number of um, uh, cocktails and, and other drinks that involve um, absinthe okay. as well. So um, it's it's something to consider. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe wouldn't... it's uh, good to add to something. We'll have to try and find a cocktail with with it. Yeah. Yes. A cocktail mixing video. Yes, perhaps. We bought some a dry vermouth uh, the other day, so we might try a, uh, a gin martini as well in a future video. So many things to try. And so little time. Mm. That's the trouble with alcohol tasting. You can't, it is. Can't you can't taste it all. too much of no, it, can you? No. Well, I guess some people have died trying. <laughs> but always drink in moderation, Joe. Exactly. Quality, Quality. not quantity. Indeed. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Until we meet again. Ah. <laughs>